friends, my name is Faye and you're watching Mystery Date with a Book. Today we're doing the Hufflepuff book tag. Yes! Because, as you know, I'm a Hufflepuff. Ta da <laughs> So, here we go. We're gonna dive straight into the questions. This tag... Hold on, this tag was actually created by Abigail's Book Corner and I'm gonna leave her link down below. I found her channel through this tag, so it's a new channel for me, but she seems really nice, so go and check her out. <laughs> right, we have how many questions? Seven questions, but I'm going to try and avoid answering Harry Potter for any of them, okay? So none of my answers will be Harry Potter because that will be too easy, <laughs> okay? Like, what's your favorite book? Or what's your favorite character? You know, I'm going to try and stay away from Harry Potter. Make it, you know, twice as hard for me. Why not? <laughs> so here we go. Now, the first question, I have no choice but to choose a Harry Potter book because it's part of the question. Question one, which Harry Potter book is your favorite? I have no choice but to pick one of the Harry Potter books. And that is the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I have a whole video, I'm gonna put it up there, where I rank all the Harry Potter books and if you've watched that, you know, my favorite, my number one Harry Potter book is the Goblet of Fire. So I should have explained this before. Um, each question is related to one of the traits of the Hufflepuff house. So question number two is about loyalty. Hufflepuffs are known for their undying loyalty. Name an insta buy author. Now, for this question, I have two answers, okay? I have two. We're staying away from JK Rowling because, you know, Harry Potter. I'm gonna try and avoid that. Um, one is Marissa Meyer. I absolutely love her books. Love Marissa Meyer. And the other one is Lee Bardugo. Now, I haven't read Ninth House yet, but I plan on doing it. It's on my virtual TBR, <laughs> you know, it's on my, I think it's on my Amazon wish list. I don't know now. I don't know, but as soon as I get it, I'll read it. <laughs> okay, number three. As Hufflepuffs, we tend to have a great love for animals or magical creatures. Name a book or series that has your favorite animal in it. Now, my favorite animal, I had to think about this for a while. I think my favorite animal is just a dog. I love dogs, love dogs. And for this one, I'm going with Sweet Pea. It's up on my bookshelf. I don't feel like grabbing it, but yes, Sweet Pea. <laughs> and I'm not the biggest fan of that book for many reasons. I have a whole review on Goodreads, but there was a little chihuahua and the chihuahua was so cute. <laughs> so yes, uh, dogs. I found it really hard to find a book on my shelves that had a dog in it because I was trying to stay away from Harry Potter, so, you know, Fluffy doesn't count and Sirius Black doesn't count. So, I really struggled, I really struggled to find a book with a dog in it. So, we're going with Sweet Pea. <laughs> okay, next one is number four, trustworthy. We Hufflepuffs are very trustworthy. Name a series in which none of the books disappointed you. For this one, <sighs> let's take a deep breath. For the Queen, V.E. Schwab, oh my goodness. She should have been an author, uh, an insta buy author as well. We're gonna add her to that other question. insta buy author, V.E. Schwab, she's lovely. And anyway, um, I'm going with the Shades of Magic trilogy. I loved that trilogy so, so much. All three books are amazing, they're mind-blowing. And I, I, I'm just in love with that world so yeah shades of magic they did not disappoint <laughs> okay next one us hufflepuffs care for others a lot name a book or series in which the main character holds a special place in your heart for that one we're going with cinder from the lunar chronicles she's the first character that we get to know she is well the main one in the first book <laughs> in the series it's called cinder and she holds a special place in my heart she is a cyborg live in somewhere in Asia, I want to say J Japan, but it's somewhere in Asia, it's like the Asian Republic of something something something, it's well into the future and you know Asian has kind of morphed into this one country 
And anyway, she is a cyborg and in that society cyborgs are seen as second class citizens and turns out she's really special and all that. It, it's just so good. Uh, I love Cinder. So yeah, Cinder from The Lunar Chronicles, that's my answer. Hufflepuffs always strive to be kind to others no matter who they are. Name a book or series that you love despite its flaws or imperfections. For that one, I'm going with The Dark Artifices. I have them over here. Yeah, in my Cassandra Clare shelf. <laughs> the Dark Artifices, it's Cassandra Clare's latest trilogy. And the problem I have with these books is that they're twice as long as they should be. Like, they did not have to be this long. Let me show you. Each book is ginormous. Now, this is the last one, okay? This is the final one in the trilogy. Queen of Air and Darkness. I absolutely adore this book. It's amazing. But look at it. It's enormous. It's... How many pages is it? Let me see. Let me see. There are no page numbers in the back. What's going on? Epilogue. Oh, that's why. Well, there are 875 pages plus an epilogue, which is about 20 pages long. So of almost 900 pages, like almost 900 pages, there is no need for all these pages to be here. It's a waste of paper. <laughs> it's a waste of time reading all of those extra pages. Honestly, Cassandra Clare, she, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to say. This 900 page book should have been half of that. 450, 500 max, 500 pages. We did not need all of these pages here, no. But I love this trilogy, love, 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 love it. Okay, and for our final question, are you ready? Patience, Hufflepuffs tend to be very patient and that's a useful trait when reading slow paced books, true. When a book you name a book you struggle to get through but stuck it out until the end. Now, I had to go back into my reading thing. Oh, let me show you. Now, for that one, I had to go back into my reading setup here on my bullet journal because I couldn't remember <laughs> which books I had read that I struggled with, but I read until the end. But for this one, I'm going with Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. Uh, I don't have it anymore because it was a library book, but yeah. Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. I struggled to get through it because it was so slow at the beginning, but I did it. I enjoyed the end and that was that. <laughs> so that was the Hufflepuff book tag. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, click the bell, subscribe, leave a comment. You know what to do. Just by watching this, it means you're tagged, okay? I'm tagging you right now. So <laughs> that's it, guys. I hope to see you all again next time. Bye.